Okay, hello Pisces. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing your story. We're going to see what's going on in your energy, okay? All right. I hope you guys are having a blessed week. Please hit the notification button below to be notified when I post a video. Like, share this video, you guys. Thank you. Hit the notification button. I mean, hit the join button to become a member of my channel. All right. Welcome new viewers. Thank you for stopping by checking me out. Please subscribe. I love to have you guys as a subscriber. All right. Hit the description box up below to be to check out the Fits Benefits Wear site. Okay. In the description box. Check it out, you guys. It has waist trainers for males, females, active wear for working out. All right. If that link doesn't work below, go to my channel and click on the link on my banner and it'll take you straight to the site. Okay. So check that site out, all right? Thank you. All right, feel free to leave a donation to my channel. All right, the information is also below. To leave a donation, all right? Thank you much. All right, so intuitively what I was hearing for you guys, Pisces, is indiscretions, okay? Also, I'm hearing that song, You Are My Obsession. Okay, that song, I'm hearing that. So you somebody's obsession or... Um, somebody is your obsession. Okay. All right. So let's get some cards to drop and begin, you guys. Reading. Hey, Pisces energy. Okay. Hey, Pisces energy. Pisces. Some cards, Pisces. Pisces. Oh, there you go. That go to obsess card. No card. Pisces. Okay. Who came out? All right. Okay, so dang, Empress is here. It came out on my last reading. Okay, the Five of Pentacles is here. The Devil, you are my obsession, that obsessed card. <laughs> Judgment is here. The Will of Fortune. And the Seven of Wands, okay. All right. Okay, so somebody in love with you. Somebody loves everything about you. Okay, they love everything about you. This person sees you as their husband or their wife, or this is your husband or your wife, you know? Okay, they're feeling like they're out in the cold, a Libra. Somebody dealing with a Libra, they're feeling out in the cold, um, Pisces. And this was in Cancer reading. You guys might need to go read Cancer. This may be pertaining to you guys, too. Okay, somebody's feeling at a loss. Somebody's feeling out in the cold. Ignore, maybe. Okay, this person's obsessed with you. Capricorn. Okay, this person could have addictions, or somebody does. Somebody has some addictions. Okay, or um, you may see this Libra. I mean, this, yeah, Libra. Somebody dealing with a Libra Capricorn person. You may see this person is having some type of addiction. Okay. Yeah, they were exposed. Maybe they were exposed to having some type of addictions. Maybe they were hiding some addictions from you, this Libra. This Libra Capricorn. And they were exposed. Will of Fortune is here. This person may be taking you to a karma situation. This is, you're going through some type of karma with this person. Maybe this, yeah. Or this person is meant to go through some type of karma. It's divinely guided, whatever they're going through. And they may be trying to revive things with you. Seven of Wands. You could have fire in your chart. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. 
you need to keep fending this person off because this person is meant to go through whatever they're going through. They're going through some type of karma. They need to go through it. Your husband or your wife, this is divinely guided. Whatever they're going through, you keep, keep your guard up with this person. They're still toxic as well. They have addictions. I don't know whether it's drugs, sex issues. You know, they, they may put you in a lot of third parties. <clears throat> You know, because I'm just looking at the three people on here, the devil and the two people dancing around. So maybe they love third party. Maybe they kept you in a lot of third party situations or, you know, it's some type of addiction that they carry. And it's the line. They're, they're, they're paying their karma. In other words, whatever they did to you, they have to pay for it. So you need to keep your guard up because there's nothing that could be done. And you don't want that karma going on you. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. But they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. But they have some type of addictions. You know? And they're not trying to stop it. They may have you in third parties and you expose this person. And now they want to try to revive things with you. But nah, that karma is on them. Mm -mm. Don't put yourself in this situation with this person because the karma that they're going through, they got to go through it. Okay. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is here. The Hermit is here. So yeah, this is what you do. If you have um, any fire in your chart, Sagittarius or Aries, keep keep your guard up with this person. Keep fighting them off, fend them off, because you don't want nothing to do with the karma that they're going through. They're going through some karma, and they gotta go through it. You don't want no part of that, okay? King of Pentacles. You don't want no part of no karma unless you caused it. The Empress, you know, unless you caused your own karma, you know, don't. It ain't nobody else's karma because you don't know what's about to take place with that person. The seven of pentacles, you don't want to be there when it happens. In other words, um, clarify the king of wands and um, the temperance is here. Okay, keep fending this person off. Eight of pentacles is here. Um, continue to work hard at um, whatever you're working on, your stability. You know, stay focused on rebuilding your stability. Whatever you're working on, rebuilding. And follow your intuition, okay? Allow your intuition to guide you and show you what's going on around you. Okay? And you'll be okay. You'll, you'll be very independent. You'll, you'll have your stability. You know, you're going to be stable. So follow your intuition so you continue to be stable. Okay? So you continue being an emperor. It's something you're working on, okay? You may have your own business, okay? And it's going to have you being an emperor, okay? So continue to work hard at whatever that is because it's going to have you very independent, very stable, and at emperor status, whatever it is you're working on. Keep focusing on that. Don't worry about this person over here because they're dealing with their karma. This karma that they're going through is divinely guided. This is meant for them to go through this. Whatever they did to you, they got to pay for that. You are protected, whoever you are. So don't worry about it. Whatever they did to you, wow, they reaping it. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. Okay? So it's a business. Um, you, you're you going to have a lot of options. Stability-wise, it's going to have you contemplating on which way to go. You're going to have so many options. You're going to be like, yeah, King of Wands. Oh, and there's somebody, there's a king of wands, the Aries, who innerly, who you innerly satisfy. They're holding a lot of passion for you. Okay, so you may have this Aries coming in as well. Temperance. They're trying to gain some kind of insight on you. This person is watching you. They're very passionate about you. This somebody been holding on to you. They, they're immature. You're being told this person is immature. 
they're immature and they're going to come in and they may have some flirt. They're going to flirt with you a bit, you know, childish, like playful. They're very playful. So maybe you're going to have some playful flirt of communication from this person. They're looking into some insight on you. Okay. They're wanting to reunite with you. Okay. They're wanting to move to better waters with you. Or you're not going to do it. You're not going to reunite with this person. You can just go move on from this person. It's either or. So either you're going to move to better waters with them. When they come in wanting to reunite with you. Or you're just going to move on to better waters out of this situation. Okay. Oh. Let me put this back. Dang. I knew. I said, wait a minute. I thought it ain't over yet. Okay. You got one more roll. Let me get a few more cards. Okay, put this down here. Let me get four more cards. Okay, Pisces energy. Pisces energy. Okay, you may have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. Who I'm speaking to. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Okay, um, so we have the four wands. Oh, okay, okay. We have the death card. We have the knight of wands. And we have the um, six of pentacles. Okay, so like I said, this person's going to come in with some communication with you. And it's going to be like flirtative faithful okay and they're gonna come in wanting to reunite with you okay this person this this fire sign Sag Leo or Aries and it is an Aries they do hold a lot of passion for you you internally satisfy this person passionately okay the sex is good boo boo okay um you're gonna move to either better waters okay so you're gonna move to better waters with the person four wands it's somebody you're gonna end up marrying Sag Leo Aries, this Aries, you're going to end up marrying this person. Death card is here. Oh, okay. Boop. Scratch that. I should have looked at everything. This person is married. You're going to move to better waters because you're going to find out this person is actually married. You're going to end things with this person. They're married to a Scorpio. You're going to find out this person is married to a Scorpio. This person is at a distance from you. Okay. They're coming in quick. They're going to come in quick. Um, and all they want, six of pentacles, your attention, time, and your stability. Or this is you. You're going to move on. You're just going to move on from this person, from this fire sign, and you're going to focus on your your stability. You're going to put your attention, times, and your stability elsewhere. Okay? So it's either one of those. Okay? All right. Or you're going to move to better wives with this person, and it's going to end up in marriage. They may have been dealing with a Scorpio. And they ending things with a Scorpio. So they can move forward with you. They moved out from under that Scorpio and moved to this person's at a distance. So they moved where you are back to where you are. So they could get all your attention, time, and stability and give you theirs. Okay? It could be either one of those. But when we clarify, it's going to come out. Okay? So somebody could um, resonate with this story. Okay? Whoever resonate with this story, you can resonate with this one. When I clarify, the story could change. And you can resonate with the other story as well, okay? Take pieces of it. If it all doesn't resonate, just take what resonates with you and um, move forward with it. Do what you can with it, okay? Let it help you in the situation and on moving forward in the situation, okay? All right. But we're going to clarify. It's definitely going to go more in depth. All right. So clarify the Empress. Clarify this Empress in the Pisces energy. Okay, one card. Two cards came out. Okay, yeah. Fire sign. Okay, so that's what's here. Somebody wants 
either this person is your husband or your wife or they want to be they love everything about you they're in love with you you innerly satisfy this person okay and they're holding on to you they hold a lot of passion for you and they're gaining insight when it comes to you they're gaining insight about you and that's right here too the same thing so yeah this is somebody that once sees you oh this fell out they're mentally and physically stuck on you this person has air in their chart as well <clears throat> Like I said, yeah, this person's mentally stuck on you. They can't move forward without you. They want you to be their husband or their wife. Or they, okay. Five of Pentacles, they're feeling ignored. Left out in the cold. This, either, this person either wants you to be their husband or wife, or this is somebody's husband or wife. But they're feeling ignored, left out in the cold. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. They want to come out of that cold in Pisces energy. Okay. They're feeling burdened. Guilty. They're feeling burdened. This person is obsessed with you. This person has some type of addictions, whether it's sex addictions, drug addiction. I mean, it could be something minor. They have, they were exposed. You may have exposed this person. So this may be somebody's husband or wife. And you exposed them. You found out what they were doing. Maybe they had you in a lot of, like I said, they had you in a lot of third parties, maybe. Okay, um, clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. Okay, yeah. They hid secrets. Yeah, they had, uh, they hid secrets from you. That they had addictions. Some type of addictions, and they hid those from you. And they're obsessed with you as well. They're hiding that from you as well. But they were exposed. And it will come to light that they're obsessed over you. If you don't know, you know now. Okay. Let me see. This card came out. Page of Cups. And this is some. You're not even expecting this person to have been it. You didn't even expect to even for this pe person to be even be um obsessed over you. You're gonna be shocked when you find out this person is actually obsessed over you. Maybe you're gonna get a message from them or something, or they were exposed. You found messages. That's how they got exposed. person has Capricorn in their chart as well. Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, Libra, or Gemini. But you may have found text messages or on their phone or you that you may have heard them talking on the phone. But this person is, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune. This person is going through some karma. what they've done to you or maybe your intuition um will show us you some things too okay this person is going through some karma a cancer they have cancer in their chart as well and they're trying to move forward in a success with you but that karma You need to continue to fend this person off. Okay, they're going to will to turn in their favor, but continue to, to um fight them off. Seven of Wands is here. Keep your guard up. Continue to fend this person off. Then you blocking this person because they're going through karma. But they're still trying to charge for it successfully with you. Clarify the seven of wands. Even though they've been exposed. 
okay? But they're at a crossroads, okay? So they spend their time in hermit mode, um, trying to use their intuition on how to be able to um, rebuild stability with you. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And move forward successfully with you. Page of Pentacles. Okay, they're trying to get some enlightenment. Okay, so they spend a lot of time in hermit mode. That's what they're doing while they're in hermit mode. If you notice your person is um, isolating themselves from you or, you know, always sitting alone and look like they're thinking about something, that's what they're doing. They're trying to think and get some enlightenment on how to not lose the stability that they have with you. So that's what they're doing. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. Okay, six of pentacles. Yeah, so they're in hermit mode trying to get some enlightenment. And use their higher power to figure out how to get all your attention, time, and stability. Get that back. Okay? And reunite with you. Right? The king of swords. This person's going to fight for you. They're standing their ground. Libra. There you go. They're standing their ground. They're not going to give up. They don't want to lose the stability they have for you. They see you being stable, independent, secure. You know, the king of pentacles. They see you as king of pentacles. They don't want to lose that. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Okay. Justice. They may fear that you're going to separate from them. Divorce. Okay. And they're not trying to. They're trying to will it. Emperor. They want a victory. In rebuilding with you. Okay, the Emperor Aries is here. So this person could have Aries in their chart as well. Or you could have some Aries in your chart. Yeah, they see you um, in Emperor status as well. They see you manifesting what you want. You getting what you want. And they don't want to lose that. They see you, you know, in Emperor status. They don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose you. They see you in your strongest power right now. Clarify the emperor. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Contemplating. Okay. So they're trying to figure out how to keep from losing you. Okay. The seven, seven of Pentacles. Because they see you like this. They're trying to figure out how to keep from losing you. Look at options on how to figure out how to keep you. Because they see you having a lot of options concerning your stability. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. They see you um, having a lot of options concerning your stability coming in. And they don't want to lose that. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. They don't want to lose that because this is where they're going to be. Five of Pentacles. Poverished. Poverished. Okay, so we have a King of Wands here. Somebody's um, innerly, um, you innerly satisfy a king of wands. So maybe you have a king of wands in your energy as well, or they're coming in. They holding on to you. Clarify the king of wands. They hold a lot of passion for you. You innerly satisfy this person. They're focused on you. They have a lot of other options. This person is looking into some insight on you. They want to gain balance with you. Um, clarify the temperance. Clarify temperance. Oh, this is what's going on. Temperance. 
Okay, yeah, this is somebody from your past. This person is a soulmate. They feel bonded to you. So this is an Aries. Yep, this is an Aries. Five of Rods. They may have been confused about you in the past, whether they want to be with you or not in the past. Some type of confusion is here. But they're going to come in announcing something to you or being flirtive, playful with you. This person may be immature. So the way they communicate with you may be immature, like very playful, childlike, flirtative. Clarify the page of wands. Got another page of wands here. Clarify the page of wands. Okay, yeah, this person's coming in. They're trying to manifest you. They're trying to manifest a reuniting, a reunion with you. Clarify the uh, three of cups. This Aries, Aries D. Okay, the Empress, they, they love everything about you. They love everything about you. So you got a cancer who is your spouse. So you're married to a cancer, whoever I'm speaking to, whether it's male or female, somebody's married to a cancer. They were found out, have some, they have addictions. You exposed them. But then you have this Aries who is in love with you, who wants to be your um, empress. Okay, they're wanting to move, move to better waters with you. Wow, you got it going on, Pisces. Clarify the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. There you go, Pisces. Yeah. You want to move to better waters with this um person. I mean, they want to move to better waters. They're coming in to offer you love. Now, Pisces, this could be you. And it could be telling you what's going on with the person that, um, I'm thinking this is what this is. You're being told what's going on with somebody in your energy that you're in love with, that you want to marry, that you want to be your empress. And see, they're going through a situation where their spouse was exposed. They found out what their spouse was doing and they're moving forward from their spouse. They're being told to work hard at rebuilding their stability. And, or you're being told that's what they're doing. They're mo they're focusing on their stability, okay? And this person is, um, they have a successful business that's coming up off the ground. They're emperor. This person is going to be a, a emperor. If they're not already an emperor, they're going to be, okay? They're going to be very independent. They're going to move forward and be independent and successful. They're going to have a lot of options concerning their stability, so Pisces, yeah, you got the Aries in your chart. You're the Aries. Okay, so you're being told what's going on with somebody you want to be with. This is a Pisces with Aries in their chart. Okay, yeah, this person, yeah, you want to move to better. You're going to offer love to this person because you want to marry this person. You want to work hard at rebuilding stability with this person. You may have ended things with a Scorpio, so you can move forward with this. Move to be with this um Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. And they may have Aquarius Sag Leo in their chart. Okay, yeah. So you had stability with a Scorpio, you ended things with this person and you moved out. You moved away from this person. Or you did it so you can move forward with um, somebody you want to give all your attention, your time, and your stability to. And that's this Taurus, um, Virgo Capricorn person 
who has Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their chart. Okay, gotcha. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So the Ace of Swords is here. Yeah. You want to embark on a um, new beginning with this person. Success. You want to have a success in a new beginning. This is where you want all your time, attention, and stability to be with this person. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. It's an earth sign. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you're planning, strategizing on how to offer some type of stability to this person. Okay, Pisces here, you're, you're stagnant. You're stagnant right now. This is you, Pisces. Okay, so it's taking you some time to um, come in with this offer. All right, the Ten of Cups is here. But you know you want the Ten of Cups with this person, with this earth sign, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who has Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini in their chart. Okay, so that's that's your story. So you're being told what's going on with this person. So this is what this story is about. You may be wanting to know what happened to this person. Here you go. I mean, what's going on with this person in this person's relationship? Here you go. You have it. They're exposing their partner. And their partner wants successfully to move forward with them. This cancer that they're with. They're married to a cancer. But this cancer is going through karma. This person is going through a lot. Because what they did to this person that you want to be with. And they could have Libra in their chart as well. Okay. But this is what they're going through. The person is going through karma for what they did to them. They have addictions. Their spouse has addictions. Whether it's sex, something. Drugs, they have bad addictions. And they're paying for it. Because they had this person in a lot of third party situations. That's what I'm thinking it is, third parties. Because this person can't move forward. The person want to work on it. But this person may not be able to move forward that you want to be with with this cancer because what they did they done did so much to this person and they're obsessed over their their wife or husband they're obsessed over this person okay all right so they're not trying to let them go so all right that's the end so you guys like share hit the notification button below to be notified when i post a video um Again, like, share, join, and become a member. Most of all, you guys, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you guys as subscribers. Check the description box below. Click on that link I spoke about. All right. Feel free to leave a donation to my channel. And I love you guys. I hope I can help you. <clears throat> all right. Be good. Love you.